5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, encendido. Allumage UAP, décollage. Since 2003, and through the Ministry of Planification, Public Inversion and Services, Argentina implements politics ensuring national sovereignty in terms of telecommunication, connectivity, and scientific investigation, leveraging the infrastructure, technology, and the presence of Argentina in outer space. In this context, the National Commission of Space Matters executes the National Space Plan an integral program that promotes growth and strength of satellite local industry with the aim of putting into orbit communication and terrestrial observation satellites. This equipment will allow us to warranty television services, internet and telephone access in all territory. It will give information to increase productivity and competitiveness of the economy and will expand the horizon of Argentine scientists. The road to satellite sovereignty was driven by former President Nestor Kirchner, who decided to defend the orbital position assigned to Argentina and to give up renting foreign equipment as it was historically done. To achieve this, the Argentine Satellite Solution Company, ARSAT, was created, as well as the ANVAP company, which took the challenge of developing their own communication satellites. The most outstanding achievement of this plan was the development of the geostationary satellite RSAT-1, entirely designed, built and tested in Argentina, which was launched to outer space in October 2014. The mission constitutes the most ambitious technological development project in the nation's history and a source of pride for all citizens. The construction of the RZ-1 took eight years of researching and development and a million hours from 400 workers, experts in satellite engineering and highly trained operators. It also required a total invest of $280 million that were fully given by the Argentine national state. The satellite measures 12.8 feet high. 53.8 feet length with its solar panels extended and a total amount of launching of 13,868 libras. It has a payload of 24 transponders on Q-band and a single shell communication antenna with a diameter of 6.26 feet. The RSAT-1 can also withstand temperatures above 150 degrees and improves structural strength in thermal forces. Its surfaces are rigid, relation-resistant, and made of motors like carbon fiber reinforced plastic, titanium, and aluminium. RZ-1 was launched from French Guiana on Thursday, October 16, 2014, transmitted to the whole country by the public TV. The act of shooting from Kourou marked the official entry of Argentina in the select club of 10 countries with capacity of developing this type of mission. From the earthly Benavides Arsat station in the province of Buenos Aires, Arsat staff and INVAP guided the satellite into orbit, orbiting 35,786 km high and located in geostationary orbit 71.8 west. Arsat 1 provides video services, television, internet, and telephone services to the nation, offering the same quality connectivity throughout the country, including Malvinas Islands and Antarctica. Its main mission is to reduce the digital divide and build an Argentina that ensures access to information technology and communications. At the same time, RZ-1 is the first telecommunication satellite developed in South America and the first step of the Argentine geostationary satellite system, which is already preparing the construction and launching of RZ-2 and RZ-3 to provide services throughout the Americas. 
the Ministry of Planification and the Econae are working on the Tronador 2 project, meaning the construction of a launcher vehicle for Earth observation satellites up to 250 kilos, which belongs to the segmented structured SAIR series. This enterprise is a central part of the National Space Plan, as it will allow Argentina to have the ability of developing complete satellite missions, the design, construction and launching of satellites. Argentina will carry into space other country satellites, becoming the only nation in the southern hemisphere with that ability. The Tronador project is developed through a series of experimental suborbital flight control vehicles called VX, which are used to test the technological maturity of the components of propulsion systems, avionics and structure necessary to meet the requirement of the launcher. In March 2014, the first launch test was made of an experimental vehicle, VX-1A, from Punta Indio, in the province of Buenos Aires. This is a, a load gathering information needed to refine the engine and navigation, guidance and control in a vertical launch from an Earth platform. Later, in August 2014, the launch of BX-1B, 47 feet high and 2.8 tons weight, was performed. The VEX-1B meets the programmed path flying for 27 seconds and reaching a maximum height of 702,017 feet allowing us to check the propulsion system and steering. The testing phase of the Tronador 2 launcher continues with the series of VEX-5 vehicles. Copies A and B are expected to launch during 2015. Finally, the VEX-5C will be the last prototype before launching into space Tronador 2, which will act as a vector of extreme precision payloads. This new technology allows us, instead of building a single large satellite, to integrate into orbit a satellite observation mission of the Earth, consisting of smaller, lighter and simple satellites operating a network. It is possible to share resources or capabilities, incorporating new segments and expanding the functions of the SAIR satellites. As a result, Argentine Earth Observation Satellite, transported by the Tronador 2, will be used to quickly respond to the requirements of data on land and sea areas for uses in agriculture, hydrology and environment response. Thus, it will generate useful information to provide the competitiveness of socio-economic and productive sectors of the country information. It is noteworthy that Argentina develops its space capabilities in harmony and cooperation with other nations, actively working, for example, with the space agencies of Brazil and Italy. Also, the development of space industry in Argentina represents progress for the entire southern hemisphere, as it will allow other countries, especially in Latin America, to benefit from applications to the scientific field and economic growth. Technology, sovereignty, development. The Argentinian space plan expresses the best of knowledge and the Argentine efforts and marks the launching of an industry ready to face the challenges of the future.